Hey guys, Ajax22 here, just uh, continuing to make steady progress on this sled hammer project. Uh, most recently we just got the loading gate back out of the electrolysis bath and it came out beautiful. Uh, still a little tiny bit of bluing in the nooks, uh, but that'll all blast off when we get it into the uh, blast before the park. Um, yeah, came out great. So pretty much all the major uh pieces are are blast are, are ready for blast um other than that i think we have uh well the the ejector rod is currently in the electrolysis bath and next up we've got the trigger the little uh transfer bar and the base pin are a little bit rusty um you know there's tiny little parts that need need some love but um, those are over over here, um, but none of those are are going to be significant. Uh, maybe maybe the little loading hand, but that's it's actually not rusty. So maybe the pins might just might just uh, might blast those. Uh, maybe glass glass bead them. I don't think they're going to need a full on aluminum oxide uh, abrasive blast, but. We're pretty much pretty much there. Um, yeah, gonna have to find that grip frame. Need to get a brass grip frame, full size grip frame for this thing. Um, and then I'm gonna run this over to one of my buddies. Uh, he's got the machine shop. See if he can duplicate that out of brass. It's gonna be involved, but. Uh, Ultimately, I think it's going to be worth it. And that'll look really awesome on there. I can't wait to have a brass piece just fitted right up like that. I think that'll tie it all together once we have the brass grip frame. Brass grip frames are pricey. I was very surprised. Even the aftermarket ones are in the $200 range. So um, I'd rather, for, the, for that money, I'd, I'd much rather have a factory Ruger part than an aftermarket. I think it'll just work better. Um, I'm working on possibly getting some custom bullets for this thing. I think it'd be fun to swag some, uh, you know, 300 and something grain 41 Magnum loads out of dead soft lead. Um, push them right around 700 750, 800 feet per second, um, you know, and, and if we swag them, then we can have, you know, we can have the ejector pin for the uh, swagging die and actually engrave in it in reverse letters, you know, like uh, an expletive, shall we say. Um, and then when you look down the barrel of this thing, the, uh, it, it'll have a, you know, dirty writing that to complement the dirty grips and I think that would that would just be kind of fun and it might be a might be a worthwhile project I don't really um, usually do custom ammo but I think it would I think it would work for this project so sure why not make it a little bit more involved um, yeah everything's going smooth no no surprises this is just a good gun I'm kind of surprised at how well it, how well made it is. Um, can't can't say that I I found anything that would really stand out as being wrong with it um, or you know potential weak spot. This is just burly in all aspects. Burly. The trigger mechanism is very simple, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just a good gun. I'm glad I'm glad this one showed up. I wouldn't have uh it wasn't on my radar to buy one. You know, if it hadn't shown up all ugly, I, I wouldn't have had the excuse to acquire it for a project. So happy happy that it showed up. Anyway, I'm going to get back to working on this thing. Um the ejector rod should be just about ready and then I think the next one I'm going to do is the base pin and uh yeah. Just keep working on her. Have a good one.